guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 8 of the Healing Good Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. On for a run. This is basically telling me, DJ, you need to go work out. It's been whatever how many days in quarantine you haven't worked out. Remember, pace yourself, though. Let me tell you, I'm being very honest with y'all right now. I really didn't want to watch this today because I woke up this morning, or really this afternoon, and I was like, I really don't feel like good enough. I don't want to do anything today. I didn't want to get dressed, but as you can see, I got dressed. <laughs> and I was like, well, I might as well go ahead and do this now. I was like, so I can get it done. And then I went to go download it, and I saw that um, one of my... Uh, Spring shows was also out today because they're like having six episodes come out early before the air day officially. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'll download and watch this and I'll watch that. Then I found out they had like double subs right on top of, each, top of each other. And I was like, there's no way at home I'm going to sit and watch two episodes with double subs like this. And I was like, I can wait a week or a couple more days for it. But I was like, no, let's go ahead and watch this. I said I was going to watch Pretty Cure today. We're going to watch Pretty Cure. It's the only thing I got to watch today. Yeah, it's the only thing I got to watch today. Unless I decided if I wanted to watch a Patreon show, which I am not. I'm watching Patreon shows even tomorrow. Excuse me. I want my dog now, but my dog is not in my room. <laughs> my dog is hanging out with my mom. With darts? Nice. <laughs> it's a good thing I eat.
Mm, makes sense. Speaking of which, I think she's right behind you. Mm hmm. Damn it. Yeah, but something happens to make you not jump anymore. Your confidence go down or Maybe you're in your head too much. No, don't be sorry about that. Gonna go on a run with you. Jesus, Mom! <laughs> I'm sorry! My mom just scared me!
this fucking cold in here. What's wrong? I thought it was the weekend. <laughs> But wait, you guys gotta change too. Mm. Yeah, she's in her head. She's gotta be. It's the pressure just getting up to her, and so she's just. Her confidence is just slowly dwindling. Well, books aren't really going to give you information. Yeah, she could be stressed. Oh. Can we just talk about how cute his room is? <laughs> giving me major vibes. Mahana and Mermaid Melody. <laughs> oh, Fanta! <laughs> like, how can you go shopping at a time like this? <laughs> well, they're gonna make or something? Because they're worried about her, too. I get that. Must be there for her. That too. Yeah, you got time. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the Olympics. Is the Olympics still gonna happen this year? Who knows? <laughs> it's gonna be 
okay. Got this, no fear. It is cold. Really? I thought the girl would have been acting this way. I mean, Kobayashi getting another episode of it. <laughs> no. Sorry. I mean, honestly, they are trying to get this episode done, like, quickly. I mean, who does a cure scan at, like, 18 minutes? But I, I get that. Are you gonna jump over it though and try to attack it from above? It's the only thing I can really think of. Mm
Yeah, here's the ice bottle. Mm -hmm. You would think that they would put the ice one in the middle, but I, I okay. Gonna try again. Can we just say that, like, freaking cheese dream, oh my god, that is, like, so precious, like, uh, there's a cat outside, <laughs> I know that's random, but there's just a cat just walking there in the corner of my eye, I'm like, hey, kitty, okay, continuing, but it was a really good episode, honestly, this has to be the best episode for you besides her introduction episode, really, I mean, we have, but there's moments where some of the girls We've had really good moments, but like this episode, the heart warmness and just like the despair and the sadness that you get for the fact is that, you know, it seemed like, yes, yeah, Chiyuki was, I, I said Chiyuki, oh my god, Chiyu, I'm sorry, Chiyu was in her head, and it only took, you know, her friends, and then came the time, like, you know, cheering on for her, and then, you know, finding that confidence inside of her once again. And to know that she could be able to do it and said, but it was nice. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a really good episode. It was like, if, the, if there's one thing I can describe it as, it was like the sunshine to a very depressing day because it is very depressing outside today. It was kind of sunny, but it's now five o'clock and this is depressing as fuck outside today. So it was nice. It was needed. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes me wonder who's it. it, it it's either Nadoka or what's her face. It's going to be focused next. And my money is on Sparkle. Yep. <laughs> Look at the nail art. Do you see the nail art? Oh my god, it looks so pretty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's talk about something real quick. Come here, Cody. Hold on. All right, come here. Let me pick up. No, uh, 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 uh. Come here. Okay, let's talk about something real quick. Um, so we're all still. It's the situation on the last care when she comes. This is something that was on my mind late last night, early this morning when I got up, and then later on when I woke up again the second time. Um, you're trying to sit here and think about what the personality of this last care could be about. Is she going to be sweet just like everybody else? Is she going to be the type who's going to be sort of distant and on her own like um, uni? Or is she going to be a certain type of way? Is she going to be like any of the character types that we've seen from vast animes and such? I, like, as of right now, I don't really want a copy of Uni where it's like, okay, here's the only thing. I want it like this. I'm here, like, and I cannot believe I'm about to talk about this, but I talked about this a lot last night. Um, <laughs> like, in my head. I was having, like, arguments with myself. It's over with the last few minutes of, like, no, not the last few minutes. It was, like, the, the final battle and them saving Fua. And the fact is, we all knew from day one that Uni wanted to save Planet Rainbow. And in the end, Uni was like, oh, okay, no, Planet Rainbow is going to be fine. Let's just save Fua. 
I don't want it to be like a situation like that where it's like, yeah, we all become too attached to Latte because Latte is just a cute little thing and I, I've become attached to her too. I'm like, honestly, I would kill for her. I'm just saying that right now. But I don't want the like the last year to come up and be like, I'm here to save everyone. And then we get to that final battle and then we learn something and then it's like, oh, hey, we have to like erase our memories of her just so that she can be okay. It's a little, it's going to fuck up that character because to me, Uni was such a good character in Star Twinkle, but then that last little few minutes of her, like, yeah, let's just say Fua, I really don't care about my home planet. I was sitting here, I was like, you just like erased everything about why she was doing what she was doing. And it just made me look at this show like, hold up, wait, no, but not looking at it overall, but just looking at Star Twinkle, like, are you serious? So, I mean, the biggest thing is I want it to be kind of like, um, if I can compare it to really any other cure, a little bit of Hachan, Cure for Lease, my baby, um, CL, my other child, uh, Scarlet, because I loved Scarlet. I thought she was freaking hilarious in the beginning, even though she was very shy and timid to herself, because I want someone, we have Someone who's shy, someone who is 40, someone who is hella outgoing. Hella outgoing. And you kind of need someone who is... I don't know. I really don't know. But I just, I don't want the dynamic to be like, let's have someone who's like this. Or let's have someone who's a little stuck up and stuff. I like if, Especially if they put someone who's stuck up. Because it's going to feel a little weird. Because it's going to be a little while for... Not only the girls to warm up to her, but you as the viewer to warm up to this next, this last character. Because, I mean, who freaking knows? They could do what they did with uh, Go Princess Pity Cure, where the last cure is a bad guy and such. Until, you know, we find out she's good and such. But I really don't know, honestly. I mean, we're on episode 8, about to be on episode 9 next week. And I've literally heard, or not, haven't even seen any leaks regarding the last care. Only thing I know is that she's supposed to be purple, I believe. I think that's the only thing I know. But it would have been nice, like, if we had someone who was, like, white. Cure white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because it's been a long time since we had that, but I get that. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 <laughs> of Healing Good Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 9. Bye, guys.